Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp Pro partner. You may wonder if you should be sending in batches, in other words, staggering the sending of your emails, particularly if you have a large number of contents you're sending to from your MailChimp audience. Just to cut the to the answer straight away, the simple answer is probably you don't need to be doing that, and I'll explain why. First of all, what I'm talking about on the screen is if we click schedule, you'll notice if we scroll down that we can send in batches. So we could say we want to send in six batches one hour apart. So what MailChimp does then is it, let's say you're sending to you know, a million people, it'll divide it in this case into six batches and send those six batches um, one hour apart. Usually or traditionally what this was done for was to try and get through spam filters or not to put an unnecessary burden on the receiving system. So what would happen is a long time ago this is, the spam filters would look at, am I getting a lot of emails coming through from the same IP address or a lot of emails from the same domain and so on? And that would be an indication of, of a spammer sending through a lot of emails, a flood of emails. That doesn't really exist anymore. And anyway, MailChimp or, or your, your marketing uh, email provider will anyway be sending from thousands of different IP addresses, lots of different servers, lots of domain names. So it looks like anyway to the receiving server, it's coming from a lot of different places. It doesn't look like spam. So if it's not for spam, if you don't need to send for spam, and honestly, even my clients who have several million um, uh, uh, contacts they send to at the same time, they don't need to do batch sending. It doesn't seem to help. Where it does help, however, and the, it's in the wording really here, deliver your campaign to a large audience in batches to prevent website crushing click floods. Let's say, for example, you are sending to a million people and you have a special offer on your website. And you know people are going to click very quickly on that link once they receive the email. You send out a million uh, emails and, and you expect 500,000 clicks very quickly within five minutes or visits to your website. In that case, it might crash your website, too many visits. So by delaying the sending over amount of time, if you know that people are going to click, it can delay the number of visitors to your website and actually protect your website. So in this case, MailChimp, the wording, it's in the wording that MailChimp is even saying, look, it's not saying it directly, but it's not saying that it's for spam reasons or any or, or email delivery reasons. It's saying it's more to protect the website. But one thing, and I'll very quickly go into it, one thing you can do to greatly increase your chance of being, uh, of getting through spam filters, and of course it, you, you need good content and stuff people want to read really, but one thing you can do, because that bulk sending really, in my opinion, won't help uh, your delivery rates, but what you can do is if you click on domains to the left hand side of the screen, this is one of the best things you can do. Under the domains you're sending from, just make sure you have authenticated so you can see marketego.com has authenticated. If you don't have authenticated against your sending domain there, just click the button and MailChimp will help you authenticate your domain and that will greatly increase your chances. Thanks for joining me. Please like this video. My name is Gary from organicweb.com.au.